came off the bench, uh, I think it was like that 80th minute or something like that. Um, and yeah, just uh, thought, I've got, I've got to do something. Because uh, obviously I wasn't in the side, so um, I just needed to kind of get on, have an impact, and then Tim has a kick that just flies through the wind, and uh, I anticipated that it might might go over the defender's head, and then I just got in behind the defender's kind of on me, but just just like kind of took it away from him, pushed it out of my feet, and then hit it without really getting a clean strike on it. But it was um, it was decent in the sense that the goalkeeper weren't expecting it, and neither was the defender. So. So yeah, I think I think um, Callum beats it long, um, and I'm just running in behind, and I'm on the way to actually go and like potentially score. But um, then like the ball just slows up in the air, so I'm trying to still get control of it. Um, and then their their centre back Jerry like grabs my arm, and then like he pulls me down and pushes me into the box. Um, but obviously the rest didn't do a pair and give a free kick, so. Um, Obviously, I've backed myself to score, um, especially in an important moment in the game. Uh, and also, um, it was the added touch that we were 1 0 down. The other team were like, oh, look at his boots, he ain't going to score. Uh, so I was like, fair play. Uh, stood up there and just, just knocked it in the back of the net, really. Uh, it wasn't top corner like I usually put, but it is what it is. So it was a goal. Like you say, I didn't start, so I came, came off the bench last. 20 minutes, I think it was. Uh, we were 2-1 up. Um, and I just thought, look, it feels like the only way I'm going to get in the team is to score a hat-trick. So um, I went out there with the aim to score a hat-trick in 20 minutes. Um, fell short, scored two, but um, yeah, the, the first one um, kind of like my my sort of trademark in the sense of just beating people and scoring. But um, when I watch it back, it looks a lot easier than it actually was on the day um, in terms of getting past them and getting pushed by the keeper and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, like I say, good ball from, I think it was Jerson who played that in. Yeah, Jerson played it in. Um, I get it, beat one, beat two. Yeah, defenders on the floor, push it past the keeper, get shoved and then just tap it home. Yeah. And the second one was quite similar to that. Yeah, um, that was a long ball from Alfie. Alfie plays a long diag, said Scotty Hurd, and then Herbie, um, Kind of, I think he wanted to take it for himself, uh, and then I was screaming at him like, "Hurdy, hurdy, hurdy!" So he heads it back, um, and then I obviously taken it on the chest, um, pushed it past the defender, and then just like the Worthing goal, it's pretty much a mirror of the Worthing goal, uh, but just on the left foot. Um, like I took it, kind of took it earlier than I was going to because like I just I didn't know if I had enough time, so I just pushed it out of my feet and hit it. Um, like instinctively and it ended up going in and it's quite quite powerful shot as well. Um, I think that one started with Haas, Sam Hasler. He picked it up in the midfield, um, kind of like on the half turn and then I'm running like across him um, and he literally just pokes it into me and then I take a nice touch, uh, reverse ball into Jerkin which like, takes about four of their defenders out of the game um, and then I just start pedalling so I'm thinking Jerk isn't going to beat this guy for pace so he's going to have to cut back. Um, so literally I just carried on running and then in the end yeah he cut back set me and I just slotted it home with it it was quite, quite an easy one that's probably the easiest goal I scored um, up to that point uh, because literally all I had to do was 1v1 with the goalkeeper but the goalkeeper was pretty much down already so yeah like I say Hash is one of my favourite players to play with um, especially being out wide right because like those diagonal balls you can't really defend them because they're so pinpoint um, and that one, he literally just said to me, run, and I started going, I just started going, started sprinting. Um, so I peeled out a little bit to the right, and then he just zinged it straight in, to me, put, it, uh, put it in off the far corner post. Yeah, Matty Newman, uh, the ball like spikes up into the air, um, and then Matty Newman kind of like gets himself in front of their defender, and then literally, I don't even think he had meant to do it, but he like clips it in and I'm literally running onto it like perfectly, perfectly timed and then bang, smashed it straight in. Uh, that's a prop that's a proper striker to this that one. Um, in terms of like the positioning, the, the instinct and the, the sharpness of the shot as well, in terms of just getting it in uh, and finishing it. One of my favourite goals of the season because um, obviously like I've explained many times, um, I've I was on a goal drought and 
usually you just expect like if you're going to come back and score, it's just going to be a tap in or something. Like that, it's a goal that you didn't deserve to score, but I, I kept to my guns. I kept doing what I do normally um, and just worked harder, really. Uh, but was a little bit more relaxed, and then for me to come in, like receive the ball from Hurdy out wide, see the defender size him up, cut inside, and then just dealt it. Like I flipped over as well, which makes it. I don't know if it makes it better or worse, but for me it makes it a little bit like worse because <laughs> it's not as clean a, a clean a, a look as usual. But to, to be fair, it's an unbelievable strike when I watch it back. But I put it like right in the top bin. Like there's not really any discussion like in terms of was it close or was it not in terms of top bin. It literally went right in the stance. So, but yeah, that was a great goal to come back to, and I think that gave me a little bit more of a buzz. Um, like to carry on, like carry on working hard and keep scoring really. To be fair, that goal uh, was planned, but not planned uh, in the sense that we didn't know we were going to score it straight away, but it was something that Edgy had, had said to us, look, he said to me and Jerson, like, when Jay-Z gets there for the throw, Jerson, you go and get it, like, like hold it up and let Ira run across you and just take it, let him take it off you and then we'll go from there because you can get it back or you can go and shoot and then Literally, like, I think it was two or three minutes after half time, we got the chance to actually put it into practice and worked perfectly. Again, like, the, the, the keepers love to assist me this season, which is good. Um, like, I just said to Henry, um, I said to him at half time, I think it was, but like, in, this, in this weather, just boot it. Like, I'm going to be on the run. If you catch it, or if you save it, or whatever, just boot it and I'm going to sprint. Um, and he literally did it, he smacked it as far as he could. And I was just running, thinking like, where's this ball, where's this ball? Um, and then all of a sudden, like, I get I get near it and I have to compete with the defender, um, Raph, I think his name is, yeah, Raph Brown. I had to compete with him, like, push up against him and then, like, I've pulled it down, taken him inside. Obviously, everyone thinks I'm going to go and shoot with my left foot because that's usually what I do. And I just realised that he's, he's closing off the angle for me, so I thought, let me chop that, push it out of my feet and then have a strike. Because uh, it'll be a bit more of a clean strike. And then, yeah, like I said, went in. Nice little bullet finish. I can't argue with that. Uh, the thing is, as well, Henry can kick so far. And that's, that's why I was like, look, if you get it, just boot it. And I'm going to run. Because uh, I wanted to score. I hadn't scored that game. So I was like, just get me the ball and I'll score. So, yeah, one of my one of my mates who plays for Malden was like, I'm sure you're going to want to see your goal, aren't you? And I was like, yeah, why? Have you got it? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> And he sent it to me, so I was like, oh my gosh. And when I saw it back, I was like, wait, how have I scored that? <laughs> because the weirdest thing was, in training earlier that week um, with my mate, um, I was practicing, like, trying to score from tight angles because I thought, like, there's going to be a point in the game where I've got nowhere to go and I've just got to try and shoot. And I scored one that was similar to that in the training session. So like, he clipped it into me behind and I just ran onto it and I had to get to it before before it went off the pitch. So I'm really close to the byline. I just hit it. I was like, oh, I'm just going to hit it. I hope it goes in. And then that's why in the game I had the, like, the confidence to try and actually take that shot because I'd, I'd practiced it a few times in, in training by myself before. So yeah, when I hit it, I was, I was just expecting like the keeper to just save it because it wasn't that, that good a strike in terms of placement. Um, but yeah, managed to go in. So thank God. That, that goal was quite good to be fair because of the kind of setup of it it wasn't like your ordinary goal where I get on the ball when I beat someone and go and score it was like Kira McCann's crossed it in I've gone in the back post trying to go and score and the ball's gone over everyone so I've now got to recover it and then Hurdy's come to support me and usually when Hurdy gets in that position he's going down the line he's going to cross the ball but I just said to him like back heel back heel and then he's giving it to me and I was thinking oh cool <laughs> So I like, run inside, pushed it past the defender, and I thought, I, I actually wanted to shoot far post, um, but I was like, I'm not going to have enough space to do this. So I just hit it, it, I hit it near post, um, and, it, and it went in. So yeah, yeah, we, I think me and England kind of were like tackling each other because we both, both wanted to get the ball, and then all of a sudden, like, I just like, tried to get it sorted between my feet. Um, and then I just turned around and snapshotted it. I was like, let me try and get a shot off. Um, and again, that's another one of those goals that you don't really expect to score, but you think, if I can get this on target, I've got a chance. So um, I just hit it, uh, turned around and hit it when no one was really expecting me to hit it, because Alfie was on the edge of the box, so 
I could have set him off really. Um, but I just thought no one's going to expect this to be shot, so I just took it. Um, and I wanted to score anyway, so I thought, you know what, hit it. <laughs> and then, yeah, the keeper decides to help me set it in. Um, but take every goal that you get in terms of that. <laughs> as much as they want to help, let them. I, I made it clear to Jerson that I wanted to be on pens after um, <laughs> the ball was in pitch with Melee, but obviously we had another penalty in that game, so um, in the game against uh, Horsham, and it was the first one, so that's the one I won, and then he took it uh, and missed, and then he won a penalty, and I was like, look, let me take it, I want to score, I know I'll score, and we need to win this game, so uh, he was like, alright, I'll let you have it, um, and then I, <laughs> I took it, scored, and then uh, he was just like, all right, yeah, I'll let you have it. So <laughs> he was kind of trying to take credit for it. But it, to be fair, to be fair to him, um, that a lot of people don't don't give the penalty away, even if they've missed. So it's kind of good for him to do that um, and, and put the team before his own personal goal score and tally and that sort of thing. I should have actually crossed it to Jurgen earlier. Um, but... My head was down, I was just like, I'm going into the box, I'm pushing into the box. You said I probably thought I could get another 10, but <laughs> I'm, I'm running into the box and then eventually I'm like, look, let me get it close to Jerson, like when he's close to the ball, close to the box, we can just tap it in. Uh, crossed it, defenders, I think it's the defender that blocked it, uh, slides in and blocks it, and then, um, or is it the goalkeeper? Yep. The defender who slides in, the defender slides in and, and like almost passes it back to me. And I'm running off the pitch, so I'm like, let me try it in and like try and score. So I've like hit it, and it's going towards the target, and the defender's just like got his last touch on it. Um, but still, as you say, um, um, when they talk about goals being own goals, it's got to be going on target. Um, it was going on target, so that's why it's mine. He wa he just won the ball, uh, intercepted it, and then I was just like, move! And he's literally that's why I call him Sergio because the way he passes the ball, he's class. Um, and he's literally just played me straight through um, and literally all I had to do was get to the ball um, and then it was, it was pretty much easy after that so um, so yeah I just had to beat, beat the, the left back to it and I was quicker than him anyway so um, yeah I just had to get to it and then get past Swifty um, and then after that pretty much history really um, one on one with the goalkeeper you don't I back myself to score usually obviously the, the goalkeeper kind of made my mind up for me a little bit because of the way he was standing um, he was pretty much positioned uh, towards the far side of the goal so he left that side open for me um, so I was like I'm not going to try and beat him I may as well just put it in the back of the net <laughs> it's always good to get tapping as well because Nev was moaning up to me that I don't score enough tapping and I was thinking like well I don't really ever get in position to score tapping but he was like well, well you should start getting in them then <laughs> get in the box so obviously um, that was a perfect opportunity because I was I moved over to the left at that time and then Chin's got the ball um, and I just carried on running really. I thought, oh, is he going to pass it to me? Um, but obviously he was trying to score another one as well. So he's had a shot and I just carried on running. Uh, the rebound came and I just tapped it in. Another easy goal. Yeah, I um, <laughs> I was saying to Chin for like, for like, when he came on, I was like, look, I've got to score. I've got to score. Like, I've, we can't score more than three goals when I haven't scored. So. I was on, I was on his case. I was <laughs> just saying like, get me the ball, get me the ball, because I want to score. Um, and then it got to like the 65th minute, and I was like, I'd taken a few shots, and I was like, if I'm going to score, it's going to have to be a pen because none of my shots are going in today. Um, and then, lo and behold, uh, Chins wins it, plays me through, and it's kind of like me versus the defender versus the recovering defender, um, and I'm just kind of running with it. Um, trying to get a shot off and then I realised that like, this guy's slipping so I thought let me chop back and then I, if, if he doesn't kick me in and I don't get a 10 I'm through on goal anyway so um, I chop back and as I chop back he kicked me and I was just, just gone down <laughs> again like Nev said uh, he wanted to see me in the box a lot more so as soon as uh, Kieran got in there um, I was just like I'll score this get, get me in the box get me in the box so that, that was what was going on in my head and I just said, Maka, you cut it back. Like, the, the cutback was so perfect. And then I just passed it home. I think <laughs> the first one was when Chin kind of like, 
he's running nowhere and the goalkeeper's come out and he touched him so he's gone down um, and I, I think the, the Bogna players weren't happy but I just said to him like you need to blame your goalkeeper what's he running out there for Chin yeah. wasn't going to stop he's hardly got to the ball as well like Chin's hardly even got to the ball like Chin knows he's going nowhere but he's seen the goalkeeper come out and like the goalkeeper's not looking like he's going to stop he's trying to get the ball so um, as a forward like the goalkeeper kind of makes your mind up for you so if if the goalkeeper's going to come at full steam then unless you're going to score for sure like take the contact and go down yeah, and then the second one was uh, was it you found just inside the box yeah yeah up against up against my childhood friend as well um, and I've trained with him a few times so I know how to get past him and I know he's a bit clumsy sometimes when it comes to 1v1 so um, as soon as I got in that position and, and I think it was Ronnie that played me the ball uh, yeah Ronnie plays me the ball and I get on it and I'm like oh, I'm 1v1 against Keaton let's do this so I'm, I'm going 1v1 against him and I was thinking chop him one way chop him the other and then push it and finish but as I chopped him the other way I thought actually let me chop it back again and he, he lifted his leg up and I was like this is easy <laughs> this is a pen all day he, uh, if I'd have if I'd have gone through I'd have scored so um, he's literally just he's asking to give me a pen by kicking me um, so yeah took it um, and then scored and got the hat trick yeah yeah that was um, one where JV played a dyad for Nev and Nev's headed it and he's hit the crossbar and I'm just like trotting into the box thinking oh can I get a goal here because I hadn't scored again um, so I was like oh can I get a goal uh, and he just dropped in me and I was like this is it <laughs> so I hit it on the half volley um, and it was one of the worst strikes I think I've ever taken but go straight in so take it all day I think that was Jerson again um, when we were on the counter and he just passed me the ball and I'm thinking keep going keep going you can score it and I, I said to him earlier in that half I was like we might only get one chance in this game uh, and in this half because it, it was just the conditions were awful like we're trying to cross the ball and the ball's going all swirly and doing all that sort of stuff. Like, it, it just wasn't a good day for football in terms of um, the conditions. But I just said to him, look, if we get one chance, just make sure that we, we've got a bag it. Um, and yeah, like, he's put me through and I've uh, gone on and scored it. Nice finish off the post. Uh, especially with that pitch, it's quite hilly towards the goal. So it's actually interesting that when in the, in the warm-up, um, I've taken shots and none of them were, were going in. So it's just perfect that the first shot I took in the game was the one that went in. The thing I've talked about this goal with about 100 people. Uh, people always ask me about this goal. Um, but yeah, um, good goal, great team performance uh, in terms of our, our solidity and just the fact that we were so patient during the game. We weren't really in control of it in terms of the ball. But we were in control of the game. Uh, we knew what the game plan was. We knew we might only get one or two chances. Um, in the first half, they kind of gifted us one, the Jerson chance, but we didn't take it. Um, and then in the second half, it was kind of half chances, even mine's a half chance as well. But um, like I, I always say, I back myself to score, even if there's a, a limited possibility that it's going to go in. Um, I back, back myself that I'll put it in the back of the net. So the opportunity came, and I thought, well, if this is the chance, I've got to put it in. So I just tried to strike it as hard and clean as possible across goal. Um, and, and like I should say, fortunately, thank God it went in. And, uh, then you're on the back plate of the non-league paper the next morning. All about results at the end of the day, and I don't really take it personal in terms of um, fans or anything. I, I, I don't really care what they have to say in terms of good or bad, because ultimately, one minute, and just like you notice with all fans, even our fans, like one minute, like last season, our Irish class, and then you'll have moments where, oh, he's not that good anyway, and all that sort of stuff too. It's just that it's, it's football and it's people dealing with human beings and uh, everybody has their own opinion and everyone thinks that their opinion is fact. So um, as a player, when I'm on the pitch, i just got to focus on what I'm doing. Um, and ultimately, the, the aim is to keep the fans happy all the time in terms of getting results on the pitch. So even if they don't think I'm that good or I'm the best thing since sliced bread, um, you can't argue with results. So... Um, even the word is bad, so you might not like me, but I can't argue with the fact that I've scored two and two against them. You haven't scored a goal against them. So that was, again, another goal where um, I kind of dropped into, I think that was Roman's first game. 
Um, and I dropped into like the ten long to pick it up um, because he'd moved moved out a little bit, and I was just like, I need to get on the ball. So I've dropped into the, the kind of ten long, picked it up, found Kieran down the channel, um, and I've just put the jets on to get into the box. I thought I need, I want to score. Um, <laughs> and I thought Kieran's not going to shoot from there, really. Uh, I thought he'd cross it in, so I thought, let me get in the box. Um, and if he does cut back, then he might pass it to me on the edge of the box and I can finish. Um, but in the end, he cuts back, takes his shot, bounces off the keeper, and then just so kindly, I'm there to tap it home. Um, and it was one of those where like, it was a good goal, team goal, because uh, Tim had made a mistake and like, he, he wanted to tap it, but he ended up chesting it, taking his touch, playing it to tap, back to it from the eye take to the and Tim takes the shot, and I, I scored. So yeah, it was a good, good team goal as well, so one of my favourites. That's probably one of my favourite goals in terms of as a player, uh, because of just the way that it happened. Um, I like to, to get on the ball, I like to sit people down um, and just put the ball in the back of the net. So that goal kind of encapsulated everything. Um, and it probably was a good goal to finish on uh, in terms of just my season, me playing with freedom, uh, enjoying myself, uh, maybe not taking the shot when people expect me to take the shot. Um, but still getting the result in the end. So yeah, um, and decent finish on a light-footed goal as well because I scored quite a few decent ones with the left.